Hi, I'm Carl from the Suffolk Labs Company and today I'm going to tell you about how to safely and effectively and also cheaply strip zinc from a, um, a zinc uh, wood screw. Now, going back about five years ago, we used to manufacture hat and coat racks and the issue was trying to find traditional wood screws which were not bright zinc. Um, as you'll see um, when we do a close up later on, when you put the screw into a, um, a anti-iron rack or hook, it looks absolutely wrong. So you need to strip them back. Um, we were, we did manage to find self color screws, but the issue there was they would vary quite on color and also, also being stripped down, they'd also be quite bright. So we wanted a slightly darker screw. Um, we went to a company who managed to send the screws off to America to get them stripped off and they cost us an absolute fortune. Um, so out of desperation, did a bit of research and I found a way of uh, stripping these things off very quickly and very effectively and also down to the right colour you want. Um, all you need for this operation is going to be some citric acid, um, industrial catering citric acid, a little bit of warm water, a container, your screws, cloth and a bit of WD-40. Okay, first thing is put your citric acid into the container. A couple of those. Put that on one side. A bit of warm water. As I say, it's, it's quite safe. You, know, you can put your fingers in it. You don't want to put it in your mouth, because it's not going to taste very nice, but it is absolutely safe. Get that dissolved in there. The water's nice and warm. And here we have our bright zinc screws. And just leave it. Now what's important here is, um, I'm out here in my factory using it, it's going to give off a little bit of a smell. Um, and a bit like, I suppose, like rotten eggs, I suppose. So you don't want to be doing it in your house. Perhaps prepare it in the house, but take it outside because you don't want to be uh, annoying the missus when you've stunk the house out. That's going to require, depending on the thickness really of the coating, probably half an hour or so. And what will actually happen is the acid will gradually start attacking the zinc coating and it will start fizzing up. And what you'll find after a short while, it will start getting a throth on top and then the screws will gradually get darker and darker and darker the longer you leave it in there. So I'm going to leave this now for half an hour and away we go. Okay, about uh, half an hour has gone by so now and you can see by the by the fluid there the reaction stopped so the chemical's been worked now. And if I look at one of the screws now you can see it's quite nicely stripped off of all its uh, zinc coating. So I'm going to now go back give them a wash and come back and show you the final stage. Okay, now they've been washed. Um, it's important now to give you a thorough drying out. Now you must remember with these screws now that they are completely stripped off, so there's no protection on them whatsoever. So what I tend to do is give them a good dry out, perhaps let them air dry slightly, but they will oxidize incredibly quickly um, if, they, if they have no protection on them. So once I've done that, I'll get some WD-40. I'll get away from the camera lens slightly <laughs> and just give them a spray over and there you have it some strip screws now if you want a slightly darker metal I would say double the amount of uh, citric acid and leave them for twice as long if I show you before and after now you'll see this is the before and that's the after and side by side you can see they're quite a different color screw so that's the way you cheaply effectively and safely strip sink off of screws or anything else which has been zinc coated and if you like the video and you found it helpful please give us a thumbs up on the uh, on the on the like page thank you for watching take care